Hello everyone, and welcome back to another R tutorial video. And in this video, I want to continue our discussion on how we can incorporate multiple graphs into a single plot by replicating the graphic that we made in ggplot with the two histograms in base R. So just to sort of recap what we have here, in case you didn't watch the ggplot videos, what we have here is we've pulled out the Setosa species and the Virginica species from that iris data set. And we made the histograms of sepal length. So what I want to do now is I want to go through how we would get basically the same graphic with a couple of differences due to sort of the default um, settings. How we can duplicate this graphic in base R. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to start off by generating our histograms. Now we're not going to, do, it's going to be slightly different than the, than the way that we did it in the past, and that we're not just going to call the hist function. Rather, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, um, we're going to save this hist call to the, to a variable. So this is going to be i underscore setosa dollar sign sepal length. And then we're going to make the same call to i to v underscore hist equals hist of i underscore ver dollar sign sepal length. So we've got our histograms, now we actually need to plot them, and this is where it's going to be a little bit different than the way we've seen this done in the past. And that is because the way that this works here is we're going to create two different plots, and we're going to use a parameter called add to make sure that the second plot gets put onto the first plot. So first of all, let's do plot. So let's just plot one really quick, and just so you can see how this looks. If we plot s hist, oh, I actually have to run the code first. Sorry. <laughs> now, if we plot s hist, and we call that down here, you'll see we've plotted our histogram. Now, what we can do here is we can call plot, and then we'll do v underscore hist, and then we're going to use the parameter add equals true. And what add equals true is going to do is it's going to take whatever we put in this plot here, and it's going to plop it on top of the first histogram. And we're going to immediately see some issues with doing this. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to actually run vhist. Okay, now let's go ahead and do rerun that, and then run that. And then we have to go down here and call them in order. Now, you'll see we have some pretty major issues over here. Um, and this sort of has to do with the difference between ggplot and base r, is literally what we are doing is we are taking this second plot and we are just plopping it on top of the first. We're not making any adjustments to any sort of axis um, ranges. So if you think about, so let's go ahead and just quickly plot um, Let's plot s hist again. Let's look at the s hist. So we go from this axis range here is 4.5 to 5.5. And if we do v hist without the add, so that it creates a new plot, you'll see here we go all the way up to 8 over here. So very clearly when we plop them on top of each other, we're cutting off a significant portion of the um, Virginica's sepal length. So we have to address that. And the way that we address that is by changing the axes dimensions here. So we're going to do xlim equals, and we know that we go from about 4 to about 8. So if we do that, and we run that, we run that, we have to, again, run them in order. You'll see now, at least on the x-axis anyway, we don't cut anything off. But you'll see that we're cutting stuff off on the y-axis. 
So in order to address that, we have to use YLIM, which allows us to adjust the dimensions on the Y axis. And we want to go from 0 to 20 probably seems reasonable. So again, we're going to run that, and we're going to run that. And if we run that, and then we run that, you'll see that now we have both of the plots on the same um, same graph. But just like with our example in ggplot, we actually have a really hard time differentiating the colors here. So what we can do is we can adjust that. We can do the same sort of thing with that alpha blending by going in here and setting our color parameter. You remember we used color before. And in this case, instead of specifying a color, we're going to do an RGB, which allows us to specify the comma there so we don't crash, um, which allows us to specify a color with the red, green, and blue um, color scheme. Zero meaning zero red, green, or blue, and one meaning 100% red, green, or blue. So if we want to make something pure blue, that's going to be zero green or zero red, zero green, and 100% blue. And then we can include the fourth one. This is the alpha. So our alpha blending from before, we use 0.5. And then I'm going to copy this down here, and we need to change the color. Um, actually, I have two. There we go. Change the color down here. In this one, we want the Virginica to be red, so we're going to do 100% red, 0% green, 0% blue, and five and half alpha. So we'll be 50% transparent. So if we run these again, and we do that, you'll see that we've done the same thing before. Now, one additional issue that we have with the default settings in base R is that we actually have a different number of um, a different number of breaks here. So what we want to do is we actually want to specify with the parameter breaks. Let's we'll set that equal to thirty for both of them. Rerun all that code. Plot s hist, plot b hist, and you'll see that we've actually improved the look of it a little bit. So now we need to include the legend. And if you remember in our discussion of legends with base r, we use the function called legend. And in legend, we need to have a minimum of three parameters. We need to have the location, which is specified as x, and in this case, we're going to put it in the top right. We need to have the legend, which specifies what we're going to put in terms of values. So this is the same as the values parameter in the um, in ggplot. But in this case, we're going to put Satosa. and Virginica. Then we need to specify what type of shape we want to use in the legend. And in this case, I think it's appropriate to use the 15th point character. So this is going to be the square. I think that'll, that'll work sufficiently fine. And then we're going to have to tell it what colors we want to use. And we have to make sure that our order is consistent here. So we're going to have our colors be equal to a vector. And then I'm just going to copy the RGBs from here in the proper order. So Satosa first and Virginica second. Now if we run these, and then we have to run them again down here. So we plot the first histogram plot the second histogram added on, and then we plot the legend in the corner, and you'll see that we've managed to generate the plot. And again, you can go back and you can use all the other things we've talked about with axis titles and um, plot titles and all that to clean it up. But at the very least, you can see how we can use base R to get up the same sort of two histograms on a single plot. Hopefully that made sense. 
I know it was a little bit rushed. Um, if any parts seem confusing, I encourage you to pause the video, go back, rewatch the parts you're confused about, and as always, please reach out. Thank you.